Hey y'all, my name is April Connor and I'm so excited to be filming my second video with y'all today. I've been wanting to do this video for like three weeks now for because a few weeks ago I asked you guys um, on my Instagram if you wanted to see a natural matte eye look or like a beachy wave look like this and you all said this by like a landslide. So I finally got down to filming it. I moved to a new room downstairs, got some new setup, the new lighting. So I hope it's a little bit better than the last one, but thank you guys for sticking with me. I was so overwhelmed with all the love and support from the first one. I was expecting like three people to watch it so thank you guys for that but so for this look I'll show you guys how I get my beachy look who colors my hair who cuts it and um, what I use to shampoo and condition it because I feel like that goes a little bit into how I get this look so to start with um, what I use to shampoo and condition my hair I use this um, purple shampoo which is a lifesaver if you have like blonde hair or like brunette hair like me that has blonde highlights that turn brassy this is your go-to. Um, it's like $7 at Walmart. It's amazing and it actually works. So I use it um, about two times a week when I uh, wash my hair and leave it in for like three minutes and it really makes a difference on keeping my hair blonde. And the thing that I use to condition my hair, I just use this from Costco. It's just the moisture conditioner, like Kirkland's brand. I honestly don't even know how I wound it up with this. It may have been my mom's and I may have stole it from her. I don't know. But yeah, so that's what I use to shampoo and condition my hair. It's working because my hairstylist said my hair has been like super soft the past few times. So that's a good thing, I guess. So my hairstylist. So I go to Samantha Wilson at Sola Salons. She is completely on her own. She has her own little studio and is really reasonably priced now that she's out on her own and she's amazing. I've been going for like three years to her and if I moved to like Alaska or something I would still fly back to Knoxville to get my hair done. That's how good she is. But um, I get my hair, she's done everything. I mean it's been brown like completely, it's been really dark, it's been super blonde, it's been ombre, it's been balayage, it's been a little bit everything with her. And what I've been getting her to do now is um, just do like a mini around my face. I feel like that's fine for the winter. When it gets a little bit closer to the end of spring, I'll probably get a lot more blonde highlights throughout. Because as you can tell, like throughout here, it's still blonde from the ombre we did a few times ago. But it needs a little bit more love in back here. But this is what I've been doing for the past few times. Okay, so the first thing that I do when I curl my hair, even if I've just washed my hair like 10 minutes before, I always use dry shampoo. And the dry shampoo helps give it that um, beachy look that I go for. So I use the Batiste Original. You can get this at Ulta. And what I do is I just take it from the root. I have my hair um, parted down the middle. So I just take it from the root. Probably should shake it up a little bit more. And I just spray up in the root this is just gonna give it some texture and this does have like a white cast um, that forms in your hair which I don't really like but it um, goes away when I curl it so I like to work it in there now to curl my hair so to curl my hair, I um, am using this one inch Hot Tools curling iron. I hope you can see that. Yeah, that has a clamp on it. And you can use honestly any old curling iron. I have one from Conair that I use, um, but it has a crap ton of hairspray stuck on the ends because I had it for forever. But I'm just gonna use this one. And um, I always make sure I have the clamp for this beachy look because I think it really helps. So I'm going to brush through it again. I always make sure my clamp is facing towards, well, away from me. Like I always make sure it's this way and I make sure my curling iron is um, up straight. So I don't part my hair out anyway besides just pull it all to each side. And I start out in the front. I start out with about an inch piece for the bangs like this. Pull it out sideways, grab my curling iron, make sure my clamp is facing. The opposite direction of me go about halfway through the hair I don't go all the way up to the root halfway through and begin to twist and I leave about an inch out and leave it there for like three seconds and twist the hair out of the curling iron I think twisting the hair out of the curling iron really helps um, make it look beachy okay and also for this look you can either do your hair like 
all the same direction or um, one one direction one the opposite but I always like to do mine um, all to one direction I've done it um, I'll do like one clamp facing one away and I like it but it just takes a little bit more time so for the same thing I'll grab about an inch piece start about halfway down the hair curl it leave a little bit out that's a little bit more than an inch but that just helps make it beachy too not being completely perfect with it twist it out and I'll speed up this process for you all too because it's really the same thing I really don't go in any particular order either the most important thing right now is just not to curl it all the way up to the root yet I hope this video like lining wise and like setup wise is a little bit better than my first one I actually got to move rooms like I was upstairs now I got to be downstairs so the light is a little bit better I really just need to invest in a ring light because <laughs> right now I'm trying to do it with natural lighting like natural light is obviously like better but um, at least the ring light like I could film anytime Basically, the only time I can film now is on Tuesdays because I have a really big break between class and I don't have to work on Tuesdays. Doing the same thing. And it's okay if some of the curls, um, like, curl up more or some are, like, looser than others. That is what makes it beachy to me and really, like, undone and messy. Because I feel like when you do it like this, it la you can wear it like this a few days later because it isn't perfect and your curls don't have to look perfect and also I want you guys to comment like if you know me or if you don't know me because um, I got like a thousand five hundred views on the last one which I was not expecting I was literally expecting it to be like three people so comment if you know me or if you don't and I would love to see like who has just watched my video And thank you everyone for all the love and support. I was so shocked by it. So I'm, I've basically been doing the same thing, taking like one inch increments, starting halfway down, twist. Ah, so that one came out. But you know what? I'm gonna leave it and if your curl does that if you twist your curl it'll still like beach up a little bit my stomach just growled I hope you guys don't hear that <laughs> I need to eat okay so in the back I will I'll take thicker pieces it, like this one's probably like a half one and a half but I'll do the same thing I'll hold these on a little bit longer too since it's more hair. Also comment what you guys want to see next. I kind of want this channel to be a little bit of everything like makeup, beauty, fashion, lifestyle. Like I always like, I don't know, I'm a freak. I like watching stuff about people's lives. I guess I'm just nosy. <laughs> so. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see because I want this channel to be what everyone wants to see. It's really fast to do this too. Like when I'm not filming, it literally takes me like seven to ten minutes because I'm not being perfect with it. I think one of the most important parts is just leaving um, your hair like out at the ends. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for this side. I know it looks crazy right now, but that's what it's supposed to look like. Now for the other side, I'm going to do the same, the same exact thing. So I'll just take my bangs for the first part. Wand facing, the clamp facing away from me. Halfway down hair, twist. Leave some out. 
and then twist it up. The bangs are kind of the most important part because they're like the things that are seen but I normally go over them a few times like when I'm finished with the whole look because it looks a little bit different than it does at the beginning. Same thing. My hair is really soft today too because <laughs> last night I my shower didn't have any hot water so I <laughs> showered really quickly and I'm pretty sure there's still like a pound of conditioner left in my hair. Twisting out. See back here, I'll do a little bit more thicker pieces. It doesn't really matter um, which one it is. So I'm gonna let this side sit a little bit more and let the curls sink in, but I'm gonna go through my fingers on this side. And then through with the brush, through the ends. Okay, I'm gonna still let this one sit a little bit more, but I'll show you what I do after I do my base curls now. So after I did my base curls, you know, we didn't touch the roots. So now I'm gonna go in and grab random pieces at the root, curl the same exact way, but curling literally from the top of my head and leaving a bunch out. This will help um, give your hair that body. Kind of just a secret way to get some volume. I'll just grab some really tiny pieces. Also grabbing that um, that bang section again, making sure it's very flat, and then curls kind of near the end. Yeah. This. Okay, I'm gonna also grab a, some sections underneath and do the same thing. It's just um, doing those big pieces in the beginning and then doing some small ones creates um, texture in your hair. I have some layers in my hair too, so that also helps this a little bit. But also when I didn't have layers, this is the trick I used to make my hair look like it was a little bit more um, texturized. Now, I'm going to do the same thing for this side. Brush my fingers through it. Brush. I'm just going to grab some random pieces. Curl at the root. I think this is just personal preference like if you like the if you like just the plain straight look you can do that too and I'll leave it like that sometimes too this is just what I'm wanting to do today okay so I think I'm gonna leave it like that brush through it one more time okay so now that that's done actually I don't even think I'm gonna tease it today one more. Okay, so now that that's done, 
I'm gonna use some hairspray and you don't have to use hairspray but I feel like this gives it the more beachy look too so I take my ends I'm just using Garnier for cheese and style this is the volume one as you can tell just want some volume take it from my ends start letting the hair fall and spraying it up same thing for this side I wish I had some hairspray on the camera. Do it right there. And then, um, for the final touch, I will flip my head over. And just spray it all around. Then the brush through it again. Get my hair stuck in the brush. And you can wear it like this, you can flip it over. That's kind of the beauty and why I curl my hair um, in the middle part is because I can wear it basically any other way. Now if I would have teased my hair, that would have not been the case. I'm just gonna leave it at the middle part today, I think. I think it's just all, what I do is I just mess with it. Like until, until I like it, that's how I leave it. This part is actually a little too cold for me. So I'm gonna take it and just go to the end and make it straight. Okay, and that is the final look. Just my everyday beachy waves. I think um, almost anyone can achieve this look. It's really easy. It's not like you have to leave your curl on for 15 seconds. No, it's super easy. Will take you under less than 10 minutes. Um, I hope you guys liked my video and if you like me, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see y'all again soon. Let me know what you want me to film next. Bye!